I'm just on uh, Wai Chinnikup Road heading down to the Wai Chinnikup Inlet where there's a, a small campground there. Uh, just ahead of us there, this is obviously looking across someone's property, those hills in the background in the sunshine, uh, that's Mount Many Peaks. I wasn't planning on climbing that one or walking to the top of that one, but um, if the weather's fine I might go and uh, do a wander up to the top and have a look around. It's supposed to be a very good view from the top. Um, I actually haven't walked that hill before so not sure what it's like but um, anyway we're um, going to explore the coast over the next few days have a look at the bays the scenery and uh, see what's around down here plenty of cows lots of rain it was quite windy a second ago it was uh, rather windy a second ago that wind's supposed to die down tonight so that'll be all right the next couple of days are supposed to be sort of reasonable weather. Um, the occasional shower if you're lucky. Uh, but uh, tomorrow mostly uh, fine. Saturday it's supposed to be get, getting quite um, sunny. And then Sunday it's going to start raining again. A few little um, kangaroos to worry about. Obviously they've had tons of rain down here as you can see by the uh, water over the roads. Unfortunately some of those little puddles, the trucks have driven through them and uh, broken the surface of the road and made it quite deep and sloppy. Anyway, I'll um, catch up with you when we get down to Wai Chinnikup, or on the way into Wai Chinnikup. Well, Wai, Chin Wai Chinnikup Road doesn't go to Wai Chinnikup Inlet, so we're uh, back on the main road. <laughs> there's a gate there that um, the road continues on as it does on the map, but there's a gate there saying no four drives, no one coming through, all that rest of the stuff. So we can't go through there. So we'll uh, come out, we'll uh, head down the road at sec to Chain Road, or Shane's Road, and head on down that way and see if we can get into the inlet. If we can't, we'll head back to Norman's Inlet, I think, at Norman Beach, sorry, there's a campground there as well, which is bigger than um, the uh, wide tuning up campground anyhow but uh, a lot of water over the roads the side tracks obviously the bitumen one's okay we'll uh, see if we can get there um, if it looks too bad we'll uh, turn around and head back down to Norman's Beach this is the road into Chains Beach uh, there is a caravan park at the end of the, there at Chains Beach but it's um, I think I saw online that it was like $62 a night for a uh, patch of grass and a uh, PowerPoint. So uh, I'm not going to stay there unless I absolutely have to. Um, this road on the map shows it as a, uh, a gravel road. So um, I think the map might be a little bit old. We'll uh, get down the end and um, have a look and see what's down here. Well, that sort of uh, put a spanner in the works, didn't it? I uh, wasn't expecting them to close this road off. Uh, this goes down to Wai Chinnikup Inlet, so um, we'll have a look for another one. It's coming around the corner into Chains Beach. You can see the nice blue clear ocean down there, but it is pretty windy. And the roads on the map certainly aren't um, exactly the same on the ground at the moment. It's more like a little fishing town here. Lots of little shacks. signs everywhere saying no camping. <laughs> Caravan Park, General Store, that way, and what's up this way? The coastline, not sure if you're going to hear me because it's pretty windy down here at the moment. I'll um, have a look out that way. There's a fishing boat out there. You can see the white caps on the ocean out there. Good rocks. Um, any uh, anchor points so I thought they'd installed anchor points along the coastline down here so that fishermen could uh, 
tie themselves off to the rocks so they don't get washed off the rocks. But um, up that way, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is a life buoy up there on a post, so if someone falls in, you can grab that and throw it at them. Um, and um, yep, the car, the town is up over the hill behind it. I might take this four-wheel drive track up a little bit and see where it goes. It's um, quite a nice limestone road up there, limestone track, so it should be okay. But I do need to get to Norman's Beach, I think, and uh, set up camp. All right, down the track. It's nice little uh, rocks up along the uh, ridge line there. I think this track I'm about to follow goes out to the left of those rocks and then comes in behind the town. But uh, we'll see where it gets to and um, if, if we can get down. It looks like they've poured a whole pile of limestone onto this track to uh, make it more accessible, which is nice. Just makes it a little bit bumpy. No idea where this track's going to take me, but uh, we'll uh, find out. Um, okay, I won't be going down that one. Yeah, I might pass on that little track just there. You probably get down it easy enough. I just. Um, Wait at the moment. I'd say by the uh, fact that the limestone goes out to the right here, uh, and that's a sand track going ahead, that probably goes up to a little headland or a rock or something. So I'll um, keep going around the limestone, play it safe, <laughs> and um, see what's around here. I reckon this place would be Snake City in summertime with all this grasslands. Oh, nice big puddles. It has got a limestone base, so it should be right. I will take it slow though. Just in case it starts to drop into something. I uh, don't want to get stuck up here. Deep that one actually, but uh, did have that limestone on the bottom, so I was quite safe. It's supposed to go up past uh, Lookout Point, um, which I gather is just up here. But never been here before. I've only ever flown over the area in a helicopter. Um, I'd say this is probably lookout point here. But uh, keep going. It is supposed to be a loop track, so we'll uh, see where it gets to. Whoops, that was a bit deeper. And some rocks to crawl over. Lovely. I guess one good thing is with this uh, sand it doesn't hold the water for very long so um, it should be right. I'd prefer it to be limestone all the way along here though but um, never know. I can sort of see the track down to the right of me that is um, disappearing through that valley so um, I don't really want to be in the lowlands, um, pushing my way through swamps. I'd rather be uh, up on the high ground. Uh, it looks like it goes down to this little bay here, and there's the island off the coast, the coast there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Yeah, that's not a bad view. a little beach down here too. Um, I'm hard tyres so I don't really want to go chewing up tracks and things. It looks like everyone goes this way so I'll go this way too. <coughs> oh that's interesting, little um, the banks here are coming out. 
Alright, alright, tracks going everywhere. Left, right, center. I have no idea which one I should take. This one looks like the most used one. Although it does look like it's going down onto the beach. And don't want to deflate my tires, so I'll uh, head out of that. Alright, I know there's a nice little sandy beach down there. I've sort of um, run out of time today to um, like explore as such because I've got to find a camp spot. But um, I'm going to head out the way I came in just to be safe. If I can get out. I don't like the idea of driving through a swamp to uh, get back out to the road. <clears throat> Obviously I came in this way okay, but um, I'd rather go down a known track than an unknown track and end up in a um, bog hole somewhere waiting for someone to come and uh, pull me out. That's uh, the back of Chains Beach Caravan Park. There's actually, um, doesn't look like there's very many people in there at all. This is the road down into Norman's Beach, which is the second choice of campgrounds. Hopefully these are going to be open, otherwise I'm uh, going to end up camping on the side of the road. A uh, big sign back there saying water over road, so it um, could be interesting down here. Occasional potholes, but uh, that's good. That's, um, uh, you can sort of see many peaks, Mount Many Peaks there to the top left of your screen. This is the water that's over the road, well, okay. <laughs> that's uh, sort of the inlet there on the left. You might have seen as it came down around the corner. <clears throat> I believe the campsite down here is not actually on the beach, but it's uh, uh, up this inlet a little bit. Walk down to the beach. Always take it slow through these um, water puddles over the road, just in case. And um, have your hand. This is a well formed gravel road. Even so, have your hand on the uh, four wheel drive stick, just in case. In fact, obviously the track used to go on there, but it um, doesn't. No camping that little patch day use which is fine but back up here a little bit I did see a couple of numbers so I'd say that's probably where you're allowed to camp <clears throat> um, there's a couple on the left that looks alright and there's this patch down here on the right Yeah. Number five looks like it's um, underwater. <clears throat> so I'd say I'll um, take this one here, I think. <clears throat> 